What's good, YouTube? It's Laura Shift back at it again with another banger video. And as you can see by the title, we're going to be installing Starlights in my Dodge Charger RT. So if you guys want to know how to install Starlights, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight to it. As you can see, I removed the headliner. I was not going to do a video on this at first, but I was like, it's going to take me a couple days. So I might as well just pick up the camera and do it. So unfortunately, I can't really show you guys how I removed it because it's already removed. So I know there were screws in here, there were screws in there, screws all up here. So if you guys want to know like how to do that, just go to the other videos and then they'll show you how to remove the headliner. If you search that up on YouTube, we're going to get to actually installing the stars into the headliner. So stay tuned to the end. And let's get straight right, to it. So after we remove the headliner from the car, that took about like 40 minutes to an hour. Hard as hell. Well, it wasn't that hard, but that took a long time. Um, we're going to remove this white cloth from the top. It doesn't really do anything. I heard it just makes it like it's like a soundproof type of thing. I'm not sure, but we're just going to rip this whole thing off. And um, I'll catch up with y'all once we do that. So after I took the cloth off of the top i drew a square it doesn't have to be perfect because you know the sky isn't perfect so i drew a square boom and then i drew a cross a plus sign in the middle um and then i laid thumbtacks this is what i use a lot of people use different things like picks um staples anything kind of sharp but i use thumbtacks i bought a pack of 500 of them and as I'm putting the fibers in, I'm gonna take these out. So I'm gonna take one out, put the fiber in, take this out, put the fiber in, just so we can keep count of how many we um, use. So I basically divided it. So I drew a square plus sign in the middle. We have a square over here, square over here, square over here, and a square over here. And you wanna do 450 or however many stars you have divided by four because there's four of these. And then that gives you the amount that you will need to put in each of these squares. So I have 450 stars. I'm going to have 100 and I think it was like 127 in each. And make sure you guys get the center of it as well, just so you can see how it is. So once you have that done, once you have your squares and you actually know how many you're putting in each square, we're gonna start off by adding these thumbtacks or whatever you're using. Start off by making your holes every three fingers so three fingers make one three fingers make one three fingers make one you guys get it so make sure you don't go out of your out of your square make sure it's evened out 120 well for me it's 127 in each square but however many you have make sure it's evened out between each square and um let's get to it guys i also suggest as you're doing this to download this app called the counter app you can keep track of how many you're placing down so you don't go overboard and add 100 and something in each one. So if I'm supposed to add 127, I don't want to go overboard and add 140. So I want to make sure make sure you have that app downloaded or a piece of paper next to you and just keep track of how many of these you're putting in in each square. So that's really important. Just so you can have it exactly how you want it. All right, y'all, this is what it should look like when you're halfway done. As you see, we got like about 200 or something thumbtacks in a, in a headliner. So we got another half to go. This is very time consuming. It took me about like 40 minutes to get done half, but we gonna knock this other half out with a breeze. Stay tuned for the other half. All right, y'all, this is what it should look like once you get done. This is 450. Like I said, yours could be more depending on what kits you have, but we got a fit, uh, 450 star kit. So this is 450 thumbtacks inside of the headliner so we're gonna wrap it up for the night it's getting a little late we'll come back tomorrow and actually install the starlight kit if it's not a lot it might take us two more days but that's what it looks like I ain't gonna lie by the way it's looking these might come out good <laughs> but yeah stay tuned so what comes in the box you got this right here your fibers it's 450 stars you also got this at the end of it. Those fibers connect to this motor part that goes in the car and the, above the headliner. You also get the remote that gives you different options of different colors, different kind of things. Um, you got this right here, this wall plug-in for an outlet. 
this is so like if you were to install these stars at at your house inside your house somewhere you got that option the cigarette lighter as well so that's everything that comes in the kit and let's get straight to it all right guys so first thing you want to do once you get done adding the thumbtacks and the headliner you want to grab your your mounting uh your your box that goes with the the stars the fibers you want to mount that right here in this area got it right beside this um you can kind of put it anywhere to be honest depending on the size of yours but this one's like big and bulky so we're just gonna put it in this spot right here seems like it fits the best right here it doesn't go over the foam so i think that's perfect so i'm gonna put double-sided tape right here and just mount it right there but that's what you want to do then you want to grab your stars i'm not going to plug it in yet i'm just going to sit it like about right here like in this little cubby and then we're going to start off by pulling these off one by one and then we're going to start from the furthest one all the way through until we get to here so that's going to take us a long time so um i'm going to skip to once i get done that i'll actually show you guys how to do it real quick once again as you see this is 450 stars i'm going to start off by grabbing one one fiber go to the furthest thumbtack take it out as you take it out just replace it with the fiber and it should fit perfectly in there just like that you want to leave enough to where it's like really long so we're going to pull that so that should be good enough right there. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that, but you want to do that for every single one of these. And um, once again, like I said, just go from the furthest star or thumbtack. As you remove these, you want to replace it with the fiber and start from the back and go all the way to the front. We have 450 of these to go. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys one second. So as you guys can see, we're making some progress here. We're about like 50 to 60 stars in. Still got a long way to go. But uh, I'll check in with you guys once we hit the 450 mark. All right, y'all. This is what it should look like after a long five hours of work. 450 stars installed. It's a little messy. It's a lot of slack. But it's cool because we're going to pull some of this down through the other side. So this is what it should look like. We're going to tape it, get everything cleaned up. But as of right now, we're just going to test it to see if it works again. So pray for me. But uh, this is what it should look like. All right, guys. So we got it plugged in with the lights. We're going to go ahead and test it right now. Let's get to it. Turn it on. Looks crazy from the top. Oh, nah. This looks good. $100 DIY that anyone can do with a Dodge Charger. 100% worth it. Easy, just very time consuming. Oh yeah. As y'all can see, it looks good. All right, guys, here's the headliner right here. We did pull back or pull some slack from the front. Just grabbed a whole bunch and just kept pulling it like this to get some of that slack out. But it looks a little better. There's still a lot of slack, but it's cool. So now you got a lot of the wire just out. You want to grab a pair of wire cutters or dikes, as they call it. You just want to snip it. For right now, I'm just going to grab it in a group and kind of cut it like right about there. I'm not going to cut it all the way yet until it's in the car, but I'm going to cut it right about there. Just leave it like that. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like once I get done that. All right, guys, this is what you should have once you cut it shorter. So you want to leave about this much. So this is how it's going to go inside of the car. And then once it's in the car, we're going to cut it how it's supposed to be cut short. So. That's what you should have in the front. 
behind it. That's what it should look like before we put the glue on it. All right, guys, we tested it out. Look good. The wires are cut. And um, I think on that note, we're going to end it for tonight. And I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. It took me five hours to put 470 or 450 individual fibers in each hole. It's been a long night, a tough night, but we'll keep going with this tomorrow. So day two or three, I believe. I think it might be day two. So moving on to day three. So once you guys are ready to go with the stars, you guys cut it already. You pulled some of the slag down. You want to grab some super glue, Gorilla Glue, preferably. This works the best. So I recommend Gorilla Glue. Um, and you just want to glue each and every fiber to the headliner individually. So you got, well, me, I have 450 stars, so I have to do this 450 times, but... Once you guys glue that, then we'll move on to the next step. I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get done. I still had a lot more to do in the middle, so. All right, so once you get done gluing each individual one, you wanna make sure you guys tape it. So I went across, up and down with the tape to make sure it was completely secured before I put the headliner back in the car. And uh, pretty much that's about it. And we're just about ready to put the headliner back in the car. So, all right, y'all. Once y'all got the joint taped up, bring it outside and slap it in the car. Just how I put it in, I just put it in through the back, uh, driver's side door, and got my brother to help me. So, he put it from that front passenger side, and I just put it in through the back driver's side. Pause. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. Made sure everything was tidied up up here, and you're ready to throw it up. But we got a, a lot of cutting to do as well, so let's get to it. All right, guys, once you got it in, it should look like that. I definitely should have cut these a lot shorter, but it's cool. It's whatever. But that's what it should look like. It was an easy process getting it back in. It's not as hard as you think. I started off with the back. Got these in the... The handles to hold it up got those in first and went to the front everything clipped in in the back so everything was a lot easy to install but uh we're gonna start cutting these now and then i'll show you guys what it looks like you guys can see we're cutting each individual one i'm gonna get some wire cut uh wire cutters just cut each and every one of these so I gotta do this about like 400 and however many times, 470. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get done doing this. All the strings should have it, have this. Your stars should be good to go. I ain't gonna lie, this look pretty good. It was a couple of them that broke off, right? Like right here and right there and stuff, but I think it still came out pretty good. Like I said, mine came with a remote, so I could change the colors and stuff. White, flash, fade, all of that. So it was a pretty easy install. It's just very time consuming. Like if you don't have any patience, this probably wouldn't be something that you should get into. But I think it's really worth it. So. And yeah, that's it, guys. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.